Hi, I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of the Florida Pain Network, where we connect those in pain with pain clinics throughout the state of Florida. Today, the topic is how to treat adult scoliosis non-operatively. Now, adult scoliosis comes on by way of one of two mechanisms, okay? The first is if you had adolescent scoliosis that was younger and it didn't need surgery, but it was still about 40 degrees or more, then the chances are that as you get into adulthood, the curve will continue to progress at a very slow rate of one to two degrees per year. And you're sitting there thinking, eh, one to two degrees just isn't that much. Right, but every year for decades, it can really add up. You started with 40 degrees when you were, say, 17 years old, and then 40 years later, you might have another 40 degrees added on to that. That's an 80, 80 degree curvature, okay? It can produce a lot of pain. The other way you can get adult scoliosis is you didn't have any scoliosis as a child, but you can start getting degeneration of these spaces, the disc spaces, okay, which can then lead to abnormal motion and arthritis in these joints called the facet joints. Now, arthritis in the spine is not symmetric, typically. So what can happen is one side can break down more than the other and you end up getting, you know, a curvature. Okay, and it can be painful. It can cause not only back pain, but you can also get pinched nerves from the arthritis overgrowth and pain that goes down one or both legs. So what are you supposed to do about that? Uh, surgery is a last resort option. It's called a quality of life procedure. It can be very effective. It can help with both the back pain and the leg pain, but it's not without its risks there's a 65% complication rate with those procedures. They're very extensive. And the rehabilitation can take six to 12 months. So it really is a procedure to think not just twice, but three times about before you subject yourself to that. What else can be done non-operatively? Well, let me just run through the options so you know that there are quite a few out there. The first is over-the-counter, Tylenol and anti-inflammatories. Sounds very basic, and it is, but they can be very helpful. Take them according to the manufacturer's recommended dosing, and particularly should be under a doctor's supervision, but as long as you don't go over that, then you can take those for quite a while. But if you do too much, you can end up with liver problems, kidney problems, GI problems, just stick within the recommended dose, okay? And that can help with decreasing the chronic pain on exacerbation periods where it's really bad. Uh, it's recommended that you can have short-term narcotic management and also muscle relaxers. On the long term, the risks start to outweigh the benefits. You can get constipation, addiction, tolerance. So it's best to do those when the pain exacerbates, okay? Physical therapy can be very beneficial because it could strengthen up the muscles around the spine and help take some, take some pressure off of those painful areas. Spinal bracing does not help as an adult. The spine's not flexible anymore like it was when you were in your adolescent years and you know the bracing for scoliosis helped. It doesn't help in an adult, okay? Chiropractic treatment can help. It's not gonna do anything permanent for you, but it can give you periods of relief um, along with, say, the physical therapy. A TENS unit with electrical stimulation can help decrease pain in the back by putting an electrical stimulation through the skin and help alter the way that your brain perceives those pain signals. Now, as far as interventional procedures goes, for the arthritis in these joints, called the facet joints, there are two different types of injections. There's injections into the joint called a facet block then the other one is around the joint, that's called a medial branch block. But those two different types of injections can not only tell you that that joint is painful, if it gives relief, but in and of itself can give you months of pain relief, okay? Now you probably have arthritis at multiple joints up through your lumbar spine because of the scoliosis. But you can treat multiple joints in multiple settings, okay? And get a lot of pain relief. If that relief wears off, and the pain comes back, you can do a radio frequency ablation, which is heating up this area, or whatever areas are painful, whatever joints, and deadening the pain for 12 to 18 months, okay? So that's really, really helpful. Now, 
if these nerve roots are getting pinched from the overgrowth of tissue, either bone or soft tissue, that's called spinal stenosis. And one of the best treatments for that, epidural steroid injections. Can also give you weeks to months of pain relief. So between the back pain and the leg pain, there's options for both, okay? That can keep your pain under control so that surgery may not be necessary for a long time, if at all. Because when you're older, the surgery is not handled as well. There can be up to a 65% complication rate. The rehab is much longer. Your body just doesn't handle the fluid shifting and the procedure as well as it would you know, when you were 15 years old. So keep that in mind. It should be a last resort, you know, quality of life kind of thing. Check out our website at floridapainnetwork.com. If you need a pain management doctor in Florida, visit our site, click on I Need a Pain Doctor, and those closest to you will pop right up. You may have to put your zip code in, but it'll show you the ones that are closest to you or where you're moving to, okay? We have clinics that do medication management, interventional procedures, they take insurance, some take self-pay, uh, workers' comp, personal injury liens, all those options are listed on there. Or just call us at 877-877-8556. I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of the Florida Pain Network, your pain stops here.